Good morning, Chantilly. I am Eva Sia. And I'm Haley Orr. Today is Monday, December 11th, 2023. And here are your morning announcements. Today is a B-Day. Tomorrow is an A-Day with CC1 and LS8. The Winter Spirit Week starts today with Swinter, or Summer in Winter. Tomorrow is Candy Cane Day. Upperclassmen wear white and underclassmen wear red. The Tiny Tots performance is today at 9.30 a.m., 11 a.m., and 12.45 p.m. in the auditorium. Chantilly's Performing Arts Department is hosting their annual Holiday Spectacular today and tomorrow at 7 in the auditorium. All are welcome to attend, and donations are much appreciated. Leadership's Pie Wars are tomorrow in the cafeteria at 6. Students can bring their own pies to be judged as well as try others' pies. The cost of entry is one can of non-perishable food. Arduino Club has an interest meeting after school on Wednesday, December 13th in Mod 19. Here's Luke with this week's Tech Tip. Hi Chargers, welcome back to Tech Tips. The first thing we're going to talk about is reading mode in Chrome. So this is a new feature. So first you want to do is go to this little side panel and then from this drop down menu you can choose reading mode. And for especially for long um, websites or long articles, you can use this sidebar and then you can change the font color and the, the type of font. So serif or sans serif. Um, and you can also change the color theme, the line height, and the letter spacing to make reading these really long articles easier. For this next one, I'm going to show you how to edit and view text from right to left languages, such as Arabic. So if you're taking a foreign language like Arabic or another language that uses right to left text, you can enable it in Google Drive. Uh, I'll go in Google Docs and then you're going to click on this hamburger menu and then click settings and then always show right to left controls and that way you should be able to view and edit text in that language. As a final note, the tech office is recommending all students to restart their computer, not just power it off and then turn it back on, but restart because that allows updates and drivers and group policies to um, affect their Chromebook. That's all we have for this week's Tech Tips. This has been Luke Barlow for the Nightly News. Now back to you. Thanks, Luke. Now over to Lauren with the weather. Happy Monday, Chargers. Welcome to your weekly weather report. Here's your five-day forecast. Today will be a high of 45 degrees and a low of 27. There will be a few passing clouds in the morning with relatively clear skies for the rest of the day. Moving on to Tuesday, it will be a high of 48 degrees and a low of 29. It will be mostly sunny throughout the day with a few clouds overnight. High winds during the day will give way to lower winds at night. On Wednesday, there will be a high of 50 degrees and a low of 28 degrees with a mix of clouds and suns. Going into Thursday, we have our first sunny day with again a high of 50 degrees and a low of 28 degrees. Winds will be light and variable. Finally, it looks like our final school day before winter break will be sunny all day with a high of 53 degrees and a low of 31. That's all we have for the weather. I'll see you after winter break for another weather forecast. I wonder what the weather's going to be like over winter break. I hope we get some snow. Well, that's all we have for you today, Chantilly. This has been Haley Orr and Eva Sia reminding you to stay positive, stay safe, and have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow.